So during the summer of 2016, myself, my brother, and my dad did a competition, a weight loss challenge. My dad was the winner, or should I say the biggest loser. So since I lost, not by much, I had to make a video with a senator's jersey. So I didn't want to wear a senator's jersey during a video, so I decided to frame one instead. The one I framed was a junior or a kid's jersey. I used an old poster frame I had uh, for the glass and the backboard. I used some spray adhesive to glue some leftover material from an upholstery job I did on my rocking chair a few years back. I sprayed it on both pieces and then I laid them together. I used a uh, sharp exacto knife to remove the excess material around the backboard. Then I moved on to the wooden frame. I used the best wood in the shop. Pallet wood. It's pallet wood on this project just because I want the rusted look. I cut my pieces to have an inch and a quarter thick. Next, I removed some material from the backing board to sit flush in the back. I left my blade at the same height. Then I uh, cut a nice slide for my plexiglass to slide in. And it looks something like this. So we've got the two cuts on there. Next I mitered my four corners to the same length. A couple months back, some clamps showed up because I participated in the uh, Clampus Challenge from Manhattan Wood Project. You guys should check him out, uh, he's got a really good channel. So I used some glue and a pin nailer just on two sides because uh, I wanted to be able to take my uh, picture frame or my frame apart so I can uh, slide. The, uh, the glass. After confirming that my frame was square, I used the pilot drill bit so it would not crack the wood when I inserted the screw. I uh, let the glue dry for a little bit and then uh, took it out of the, uh, the frame and got it to my sandblast. What the sandblaster does, it makes the, uh, the grain pop out even more. The use of the torch uh, created shade, it just burned the, uh, the outside edge. I think it makes it even look more rustic. One thing I notice when you apply the stain that's mixed with vinegar and steel wool, uh, it looks clear when you put it on, but when it's dry, it just changed the color to really dark. So those little bracket and nails, uh, it came in the kit from the dollar store uh, for picture frame. I use a few pin nails to hold the jersey in place so when it got moved, the, uh, the jersey wouldn't move inside the, uh, the picture frame.
here we can see the reason why I put two screws at the bottom so I can uh, actually remove the frame itself and slide the glass. And there you have it, a frame with a jersey inside. So my brother and his son are the uh, Senators fan, I'm a Hats fan, and my wife is, and her folks are Canucks fan. In the future, we'll let my son decide what jersey to put in the shadow box. So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video.